Hey what's up guys, today I was going to make some custom keycaps So I ordered myself some transparent keycaps from China So these are the keycaps I ordered, fully transparent uh, And I spray paint them black And then engrave them with my laser to get a new logo on them uh, I first tried to do this with vinyl But the problem with vinyl cutting a logo uh, like spray painting it and like while there's a vinyl logo on there is that vinyl cannot be cut too small because then um, it sticks too well to the blade and it's too light and you can blow it off if you actually uh, spray paint it and stuff like that so it gave me a lot of problems I already did a test engraving so this was the focus transparent keycap that I got and this is Spray painted black and I engraved or oh, you can the Da Vinci Resolve logo on it. It's not perfect, it cut out in the middle to watch each other. Let me show you what the logo should look like. Like that one over there. So as you can see it's not perfect, but um it's already looking pretty good. Now the main problem with this one, even though it looks pretty good, is the light bleeding when I put it on my keyboard. So let me bring you to my keyboard anyway um yeah the problems with it you can see some light bleeding through like those little uh, dots on there and there were like little bubbles in the paint job because i did three layers um and technically it's too cold at the moment for uh, the spray paint i'm using it's like two degrees outside and it should not be used below 10 degrees celsius uh, because then the uh, evaporation is not quick enough of the uh, aerosol like the, the solvent that's in the spray uh, like the spray can um, and you can get bubbles when it's still twice to when like it's drying already and the air still is trying to escape so like um, the solvent is still trying to evaporate so you get little bubbles and imperfections like that so I'm gonna do another this was like two layers I'm gonna do another two layers of black spray paint and hopefully that will be enough but as you can see the logo is pretty clear um, the detailing is really good, so my laser is dialed in correctly. That was uh, just a lucky guess, because I've only used my laser once. That was on a way different material, um, and that didn't turn out super nice, so it was just a lucky guess on this one. So the setup I have for engraving these keycaps is basically my home-built laser engraver. I don't know if you can see that. But it's basically a uh, 3018 frame, uh, which is a CNC frame. And then I have my tablet here, which is the computer that sends the data with what to do and everything. Uh, now the reason there is this much red uh, going on here is to block out, it's a blue laser, a visible laser, so not a CO2 laser, nothing fancy. Um, this is a living laser engraver from China, so it's not very good. So like the parts are from China, you have to build everything yourself. It comes with no software at all. Um, so it's just a uh, good luck, a DIY kit. Um, but yeah, that is a lot cheaper. And this came in at around 300 euros for me in total. So I've got a 5.5 watt blue laser. Uh, and the opposite of blue is obviously red. And that is the perfect color to absorb all of it. And in that sense, protect you. So what I built is... Uh, a housing with hinges so we've got a doors here got one a door on the back I can lift this thing off uh, let me put it aside then we have a let me show some extra light on it um, custom cap on my laser itself so that is extra protection but the reason uh, at first I didn't have this, at first I just built it with a shroud around it but I noticed that for large projects um, I might have to leave the door open so I wanted some extra protection uh, and and also an added benefit of this is this is the exact height um, that my laser should be so this is the distance it should be above the object otherwise you won't get a clean cut so that is perfect, I don't have to remember um, how high it should be above the object because it just has to pass the clearance test for this um, protection sheet.
Now, the sketchy part of this laser is, is that I have to dial it in myself. As I said, it's a dumb CNC, so it doesn't know where it is. So I put the laser on. I set it to very low power. I don't know if the camera can see it. Let me raise uh, my laser a little bit. And get it zeroed in on the keycap. Uh, let's see if it's a bit straight. Zoom. Now, because my object is higher, I will just, uh, and I can't see it with the protective cover, I will just raise my laser a bit. And this way I can actually see where the, where the dot is. I think I'm, oh yeah, there it is. Yep, let me feel if it is positioned all right. Yeah, it needs to turn a little bit more. As you can see, it's not really uh, super accurate, like a proper laser would be, but uh, for my purposes, that does not matter so much. So I think the position here is good. Yep, I like that. So let me get let me get my laser down. You should not be able to um, see the blue dot anymore because the cover is protecting it. Job is done. Let's go take a look. Okay, it's not going to want to focus on that, is it? Okay, yeah. I've got light shining through it now, my the, the flashlight of my phone, um, and as you can see, it's nicely coming out of the top and not coming out of the sides. So if you don't spray paint enough layers on it, this is what you get. Um, yep, it will bleed through because it's not strong enough to stop the light. Now obviously this is the flashlight of my phone, so it's a lot stronger than the lights of my keyboard, but it is a good uh, quality test because if this one doesn't shine through, then the light of my keyboard definitely won't, except for where it is transparent of course, because you exactly, perfectly burn away the black parts. So yeah, here you can see the uh, how the keycaps turned out in full glory. So with the backlight of my keyboard behind it, um, so yeah, we've got the record button for the Elgato, we've got the OBS button, so to launch OBS, the mic button to launch my microphone, uh, the DaVinci button to launch a uh, DaVinci Resolve, so the editing software, the video editing software, the NVIDIA screenshot button, so this will screenshot my PC, but in very high resolution, um, and then the screen record button, which will record the screen of my PC, so yeah. Very, very nice indeed that I've got all of this. Um, also, I've got my key set up, so if I press the record button, for example, and it's recording, you can see a right light flashing through the RGB that is normally going on, and that way you will know that it is recording. Similarly, for a screenshot, you will get a white flashing light. As you can see, it flashes like a camera light flashes uh, to show you that you have taken a screenshot so we've got all sorts of visual indicators that way um but yeah so this was pretty much my project of making my own custom keycaps i think they turned out pretty nice um 
uh, they fit my uh, keyboard really well and all you see is that the lighting on the bottom is a little less and that is because let me remove one of them the light of the RGB keyboard is on top as you can see so it's the light is directly under it on the top so there will be less light on the bottom sadly but other than that it's all looking very great and as you can see I've got for the Elgato as well set up that it will flash red when it's recording um, now I have a lot of video files on my PC to delete that are useless files because I was recording blank um, but yeah works really well works really cool and I super 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 happy with it so yeah that was pretty much this project I hope you uh, either enjoyed it or learned something or whatever because you're watching this and I hope I haven't wasted your time um, and you will see whatever random video I will make next up on this channel if you don't want to follow it don't um, yeah and if you do want to follow it see you in the next one